I guess, primarily. Yeah, I can't give you any updates right now, sorry. But he wants to know, but I, I can't do that right now. You look like chip left with a head bump, though. Is that, that's pretty accurate, isn't it? Yeah, I, again, I, I can't get into that right now. Did you like the way things started in this game? Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, you were uh, looking for that, you know? Yeah, exactly right. Um, you know, especially, you know, this game, this place, you know, I don't want to talk about some of the games that happened in the past, and 18 in particular. Uh, and we all know we have a big game next week, so uh, some people call them trap games, some people call them these different games. And looking at the weather about, you know, four or five days ago, you know, you look at it and say, kind of, there's Northwestern last year. And, um, so we had to have a plan for that. But I talked to the team all week about how if you want to be a championship team, you've got to be a competitive stamina, you've got to be a competitive excellence, you've got to bring it every week. And that's that's playing uh, in the Big Ten. And you know, whether it's Purdue or Northwestern or Iowa or you know, some of the games in the past, you know, we struggled on the road in Nebraska that one year. It's it's playing on the road in October and November in this conference. It's not easy. And you gotta bring it. And one of the big things you have to do is you have to start fast on the road, you have to run the ball and you gotta stop the run. And you know, there was there was some really good points today. Over here, Austin Ward rivals the podcast. Ryan, what went into the red zone package with Devin and got a score out of it, also turned it over, a little bit of a mixed bag. What, what do you, how do you evaluate it? Is that part of the plan to move forward? Well, you know, we started off with uh, the weather, just look at you know, it was rain, it was wind, and certainly you know, didn't want to have the same situation that happened last year. We wanted to make sure that we had a good plan. And Devin uh, is very explosive with his feet. He's strong, he's big, he's powerful, he's athletic. We feel like he gives us a little bit of something there. Um, you know, he also throws the ball really well, but, but that's that's um, that's something that we you know we, we looked at. We've been working on it a little bit. We felt like this was the right time on the road to do that. Um, I think it did give us something to equate, equate numbers in the red zone, and, but we can't turn the ball over in one yard. You know that you know, in, in, in a close game that could have been the difference. And so uh, you know Devin's doing everything for the first time, just like Kyle was doing. So I'm glad we're able to do that in this moment here, get him going with that. Um, it was good. He took a couple shots. I'm sure he'll be the sore, but I thought he threw a nice ball. You know, they loaded up the box. We took a shot down there to Brandon. That was good to get under his belt. You know, to, to make that throw. That was that was a big time throw. So, um, you know, we'll keep looking at it, keep building this package. You know, and, and uh, you know, cause we do feel like it gives us uh, a little bit of a different changeup. Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Yeah, I was a comfortable win, but there was a lot of sloppiness too. How do you think you're going to make it next? Week? How prepared do you think you are for that? Yeah, so uh, I thought the first half, um, you know, overall, we came out strong. Certainly the fumble was uh, something that, you know, we got, wish we had back. Um, and then the defense, man, those, the ball goes down the two-yard line. They just keep fighting. They just keep playing with one yard line. Yeah. So um, great job. And then, then they get the penalty, and then we hang in there, and they missed the field goal. I was like, wow. Um, and, and then it started to rain a little bit. And uh, the second half, we came out right down the field. And that was important. We wanted to come on the second half. And play well in the first drive, and we did that. Came right down the field and scored. Then there was then there was a, a kind of a point in there where you know uh, we just kind of you know flopped around a little bit. You know, I don't know if we took the foot off the accelerator a little bit, but um, certainly don't want to do that. Um, but we have played in, in four quarter games this year, so I, I don't think that's an issue. There have been sometimes where or one time you know uh, our, our starters haven't been in four quarters you know, halfway through the season. That's not the case in this situation. So um, yeah, we just got to keep pushing and keep growing, but. Uh, I'd like to feel much better about the way that we ran the ball, although, you know, we were down three running backs in the game. So that certainly did play, uh, you know, a factor in all of this. You know, they, they haven't won in the game. Um, you know, we took Marvin out, you know, to Kate out a little bit of that stretch there. So, um, you know, it, it was, it was you know, a job well done. But, but you know, like you said, there's always things we got to get better at. We're certainly a work in progress, you know, and we're, we're continuing to grow and build. and. We have to be at our best football next next Saturday. Cameron T. Robinson, the Athletic. Brian, as you said, it's always things to get better at, but this was a defense that we thought would be pretty good coming into yeah. the year. We're six games in. It seems like they just keep getting better and better. Is this the performance you you thought you might get from them when you guys were preparing all year? You're talking about our defense. Yeah, yeah. Defense. Because I thought their defense was good too. I think they do some really good things. I think you know, coach, you know, really has a good plan and he's, he does a nice job. He doesn't make it easy, but. Um, but no, I, I think uh, you know, it starts with our with our leaders on defense. You know, there's a lot of guys who've been in a lot of battles before, so um, you know they, they got to bring it and they, they keep fighting and they make you know making teams you know get it all the way you know all the way into the end zone. You know, they're fighting down the one two yard and they continue to fight like that. And that's that's a good sign. Um, I know Coach Knowles and the, and the co defensive coaches are going to see things they want to get better at and, and keep going because they know the challenges are going to get bigger and bigger. So. 
the issues are there. They're, they're, you know, they have to be addressed uh, on both sides of the ball, all three phases. And we've got to keep doing that. So um, we know we're near where we need to be, but but that's that's part of growing. You know, you want to be playing your best football at the end of the season. You find a way to go one and zero on Saturday night, and and that's the goal. So. We know we got a big challenge ahead of us, and the preparation starts now. Over to the left, Dylan Davis, Delaware Gazette. Can we talk to Justin on uh, Wednesday. He talked about maybe some of the things for his guys up front, so maybe a couple of some of the issues they're asking. Because how did you see that play out on the field today? Did we talk to you guys about that play out well? Well, yeah, and, and when, when you know you're down Trey, you're down Mayan, and it chips your guy, and then all of a sudden you lose him in the game. It's like, okay, how are we going to run the ball here? So. Uh, we got Dallin in there, and Dallin started to run well. But I, I thought, you know, I have to look at the film, but it seemed like we were, we were rocking off the ball pretty good, even though it was a pretty loaded box at times again. You know, and, 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 um, then it started to rain, and, you know, we started to get that in. Then it was like two extra guys. You know, they were there bringing the safety down a little low. And so, you know, it forced us to kind of push the ball down the field on a couple of throws, which, which is fine. But, um, but uh, yeah, and then, and then Evan went the game. Xavier took a couple handoffs, too, coming out of the, you know, as a receiver. That could give us a little something. But we certainly didn't have, you know, three of our running backs. And that makes a big difference. So to be able to run the way we did without having three of our guys was a good sign. So you know, we're really, we're going to get healthy this week. Uh, Pat Murphy, twenty four seven Sports. Brian, you mentioned <clears throat> the running backs. Uh, Dallin has done this a handful of times now. Come in and, and kind of given you guys stuff. What makes him capable of, at a moment's notice, being ready to, to step in a game and perform? Yeah, I think he's got really good feet. I think he, uh, when the ball's in his hands, that's when he's at his best. And, and uh, you know, he's got good vision, good quickness. And uh, but, but I think, to your point, it shows his mental preparation because he hasn't played a bunch this year. And um, and so to be able to go do that is uh, you know, says a lot about his preparation. And, you know, the, the things that we did today are things that. You know, day one installation kind of plays. Had the stretch play going, we had the counter play going, a few other things, a couple of tosses. But, uh, but, but he, he put it on the field. He took care of the ball. That's the number one thing. Uh, certain some things of protection that you know we need to get better at. But, uh, but, but ran the ball hard, and it was good to see him step up in this moment on the road. That was the bonus of him not playing the previous four games too, right? You have some games to burn there in case. He, well, that, he, that was it. Yeah. You know, just in case something like this happened, we said bomb was off. The bomb was going off today. Yeah. Lost chip. And so, you know, hope to get everybody back for next week. But, but yeah, but that, that's why we played it like that. Spencer Albrook, Letterman Row. Ryan, I know offensive line is something that you guys got to kind of watch later to make sure that you're accurate on it. Yes. Do you feel like that's a step forward today I, from what you saw? Well, I hope so. I hope so. You know, I, I think they came off the field with a bunch of energy and finished off some drives, and we ran the ball harder. We got downhill. We created some play-action passes where guys were open down the field. I mean, you, you, you felt uh, – I felt on the sideline like they, they were, we, were, we were knocking people off the ball at times. I felt like our running backs were running hard. Um, now, whether that shows up on film, I got to go take a look at it. But like you said, you, you just you saw a good demeanor out there. Uh, over to the left. You talked about Stover being an offensive weapon earlier this week, and he goes out and scores two touchdowns for you guys. How does a guy like that really help to secure wins? Well, he he, he does a lot for us. I've said it before. He does a lot of the dirty work for us, you know, in the run game. And then that creates play action passes. And uh, but the, the catch he had in the one on one situation on uh, well, was a third down or a second long, it was a heck of a throw and catch. Um, that he did a nice job, you know, kind of you know snatching the ball quickly on the touchdown pass. The ball was kind of thrown a little bit outside of his frame, and he snatched it hard with his hands. And then and then the last one that was a play action off of the counter play that um, you know when, when you're running hard and, and the defense is showing up on the line of scrimmage, you know you. you Get open down the field uh, if, if you're blocking inside, doing all the dirty work, and that—that's really him. Uh, you know, he's a great captain, and uh, you know, he's a weapon for us both in the run game and in the pass game. And final question, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Right, the way down ran today, the way injuries have kind of impacted the running back. He's only finished on injury day. You were going to be down there with the guy right there. Yeah. Year ago, you look at that, or maybe you sort of. Now, yeah, I think we got to look at and, and just see, you know, what that room's looking like. You know, and we'll kind of play it week to week. You know, we didn't know how the season was going to play out, but we wanted to at least have the choice to uh, be able to save his redshirt if possible. But you know, uh, we'll sit down and talk if, if it's something that you know we got to go play and do what's best for the team. And there's opportunities to go play, then we'll go from there. Great, coach. Thank you very much, yeah, folks. You might be able to get a player.